had so many texts, so many, um, uh, just uh, so many messages from, shoot, from Mississippi, from Ole Miss, Arkansas State, Liberty, um, just friends to, uh, of ours. And just they were so, uh, it was just a great morning to celebrate with my wife, kids, and everybody with our opportunity that we have here at Auburn. And then to show up here for Tiger Walk, which was absolutely incredible. And then to see our largest student crowd uh, ever and largest crowd ever in, in Jordan Hare is just quite humbling. And I just can't say enough about, about their support and what that means to our players, to our staff, to our administration, to everybody here at Auburn. It just speaks to the love and passion of the Auburn family. And so thank you so much for showing up and, um, and uh, celebrating our first win here in, in, in our tenure. So uh, we, we're just so thankful for our crowd. And Tiger Walk was incredible. And just uh, it was a great day, great day. Just talk about the young guys. You got a chance to play a bunch of guys no. early in the game, all throughout the game. How valuable is that first game, but also maybe down through the year as well? Well, it's valuable because their parents are here and their girlfriends are here. And they practice their tail off, and there's no guarantee that they get any snaps. And uh, we got a lot of kids in today, and the last touchdown they scored, I mean, we really had a lot of, a lot of young guys in there. And the last touchdown we scored on offense in that last drive, we had those two freshmen, uh, three freshman offensive linemen in there, and, you know, our fifth team back. And, it was uh, it was good to see them get a lot of reps. I think that's you know man they don't get to do that often, and whether it's guys that you're going to depend on later that need the reps, or if it's guys that you know what they'll have that memory for the rest of their life. It matters, and uh, both both matter. Hey coach, um, you and your wife have had Auburn on your you know, list for a long time, and. First home game, first win, a crazy environment. Is it what you thought it would feel like? Um, yes, I mean, it, the whole day was just kind of um, a, a, just a sense of gratitude, truthfully, to you know, President Roberts and uh, and John Cohen and the administration and the Auburn family who has welcomed us so well. We just uh, we were just filled with with gratefulness and gratitude this morning and. Um, I've kind of felt that way, but it kind of hit really this morning as you're sitting around waiting and you, you try not to have too many meetings with the players because you'll drive them crazy. And I was just kind of a, alone and reading all the text and and um, from my family and just everybody was just so excited for the day. And obviously to, to win is uh, it even adds to it. And I've got, I think, 34 uncles here and, and all our parents that we're going to have sandwiches at my house here shortly so it'll be fun to celebrate with family here you talked you know, about how confident you were that robbie could help you guys win games three touchdowns for him in those in those red zone packages how encouraging was that and how excited are you to i guess use that and, and maybe build off of it down the line this season well i mean if you've every press conference i've been in i've said robbie ashford is vital to us winning football games and I don't know else how to say it. He, he is vital to us winning football games. And I don't know exactly what that looks like from week to week, but I know that he's vital to us winning football games and we need him. Uh, Coach, talk about the uh, balance between run and pass today uh, and what you guys achieved there. And then second part, uh, your good friend Gus Malzahn used to celebrate wins by going to the Waffle House. Yeah. How do you plan to celebrate? You know, I love Waffle House, um, but um, tonight we're, we've got a family. Uh, I would not want to try to get all whatever the number we have in somewhere tonight. So we're going to we're just going to do it at my house tonight. But would you and I will find somewhere if we're ever if we're ever alone and don't have family around, which that is barely rarely the case on games. I, my family travels, man. They, they they come to most every game. So we'll find us a spot though. But uh I, I'm I'm all Gus and Christy love Waffle House and we do too. It's a good good spot. Balance between passing the balance, I you know, I, I haven't looked at the stats, but I know I've coached enough games. We were we, we could have been as balanced as we wanted to be tonight. And um I think any time you're running the football effectively, you consider yourself balanced because they have to commit people to the box. And, um, and I felt like we, we established that early. Jeremiah called first game after the net college, and he had a big touchdown run. 
What do you have to say about that? Well, I told him this week he would score his first touchdown. I believe that. And uh, I, I think Jeremiah Cobb is a really, really special talent that's going to have an incredible career at Auburn. So earlier in the week, Coach, you mentioned about shortening the game and how running the football does that. Was that born from maybe a little bit of concern of your run defense? And did you see anything today that maybe put those fears to rest a little bit? Well, we, we made some adjustments, and I thought we played better than we did the first drive, obviously. But I think we still are giving up too many explosive plays in the run game, and we've got to continue to work on that. And um, we went fast the first half um, offensively, and then I didn't the second half. I called it off and just tried to shorten the game and um, and make sure we took care of ourselves physically and, and got others in. But, you know, I think every game's going to be different. We're obviously prepared to be one of the faster teams in the country. I think we I, we were snapping the ball some in the first half with right around 30 seconds on the play clock, which is uh, which is pretty good. And so, but we want to play and and do what's right for the whole team. And so, I think every game's going to be different with that. Coach, you got a big win in week one, but as a head coach, how much can you take away from a week one victory as you move into the season? And, and what are those things that you're taking away from this week one victory? Well, we, I told our kids in there, and I mean this, life in life and football and whatever, I think we all fail to celebrate victories. To, to, I mean, it's just I, I've made up my mind for the rest of my career, dead gum, and I'm going to enjoy at least for a few hours, the fact that our team, our staff, found a way to win a football game in college, and they're not easy. I don't care who you play. They're not. It's just not easy to, to win football games. And um, so I want to enjoy that, and I want our kids to, and I want them to learn to do that in life with their families and celebrate each other when, when those things happen. And so we'll, we'll, we'll do that. How much can we take away from it? I, we want to know. You know, that's that's what you can take from it. We'll watch the film and and learn. But next week's challenge is uh, is a different one. And we've got to win tomorrow and we've got to win Monday. and We've got to make choices the right way that define us. And we've got to chase the standard that we've tried to set and and see if we can't be prepared to compete again, you know, on a difficult trip, truthfully, next week uh, out to the West Coast. So, um, you know, we'll celebrate tonight. Tomorrow we'll be back at work. You, I got two quick ones. Uh, first one, it looked like Gunnar Britton played three different positions on the offensive line. How yeah. unusual is that? What does that say about him? Uh, I think it just speaks to his importance to us. We can. Uh, he needs to be on the field, and we need to stay fresh because we do like to go fast, and it, it gives us freedom to move some some puzzle pieces around because of his flexibility. He's, he's really invaluable with that. And then Peyton Thorne, how did you feel about his um, – Day to day, yeah. how important was him to come back that second half? Yeah, to good to see him throw that play. He made three decisions that were not good, um, but uh, I thought he played really solid and he protected the football. So uh, we didn't ask him to do a whole lot in the passing game, truthfully. Um, but um, I thought he was really solid and he'll be ready to improve off of what he sees. He has a really good throw there. We, we felt like we had some of those. We talked about it at halftime, and I just said I didn't want to show some of the other things that we thought we had in the game plan that would have been good. Coach Freeze, uh, I thought Holden threw it well when he came in. Uh, Coach Freeze only allowed one play, uh, one passing play over 15 yards. What did you like from your defense and those younger guys that stepped up? And how can we see that going forward as uh, you know you go out west next week? Yeah, I thought we, we were uh, very unsound on the RPO slants. But uh, we did rally to tackle it well. And we were playing a lot of young kids. You know, Pritchett didn't play. And uh, that made us have to play uh, DK and, uh, and Caleb, I mean, DK and, uh, and Keontae a lot. And we were without a couple guys that we hoped to, to help us in the, in the future. We just got to get everybody healthy. But um, so we're playing those freshmen. And, and Terrence Love played a ton of snaps. And, you know, so to, for us not to give up any explosive passes was, was probably pretty good. Your uh, pass rush, four sacks today, you forced a couple of turnovers with it and some, and some stops. Just how impressed were you with those guys being able to get after the quarterback? Well, I thought we got better at it as the game went on, and they crushed the pocket some, uh, which was very good to see. And I thought Zay Walker had a, had a really solid game in the second half. 
and that we did crush the pocket some. I do think, you know, we won the turnover battle, which is a, a, a goal of ours every week, and we won the penalty battle, I believe, also. So those are two things that uh, that we want to win every single week. And I think when you win those two, your your percentage chances of winning games go way up. And so it was good to see our defense play hard. I thought we played harder than we than we have in the scrimmages and then we did maybe the first possession. I thought we started showing a little passion. We'll finish up with two in the back. Carrie, you want to go ahead? Yeah, Coach, so I know I asked you pregame just about soaking this all up. I'm curious if you had a favorite moment, um, either obviously getting a win, but before the game, after the game, what's going to sit with you after this one? Well, seeing all my family at the end of Tiger Walk and, um, you know, and just uh, and seeing – you know, our AD and, and his staff, Lee, and, and those guys who have, you know, have obviously are responsible and for for allowing me to have this position. Just, you know, you just, I'm just thankful. And, you know, that was a special moment. And then after the game with a win to see your mom and dad, my mom doesn't get around real well anymore, but she was going to make her way down to see, to see her. and. Um, you know, just sharing, sharing special moments with people that you care about and that you want to serve and, and please, um, those are pretty special times. And I enjoyed going to the student section. That was, that was fun. Coach, in the first half, uh, after, the, after the fumble recovery, uh, your players brought the ball back over to you and you all had a little, little celebration together. Talk about the relationship that you built with your players in just a short amount of time. Well, they're probably better to ask that. To uh, I do take pride in being a relational coach. I think that's uh, what I've always been. Um, but as long as they allow me to speak truth to them as I see it and uh, if they can handle that, uh, the celebration is really me because this day and time, there's too many celebrations on the field for me. I'm old school a little bit. And so I promise them, if you'll just come to the sideline, I'll do whatever dance you want me to do and look like a fool. But just let's just do it on the sideline and do it together. So that was a promise that Jalen Simpson and he maybe do some kind of little little deal that I'm sure I screwed up. But, um, but, but I'll do that as long as they don't do that crazy stuff on the field that might hurt us. One more. Jalen Simpson, real quick, just yeah, great game. I thought he played really solid, and uh, thought he played really solid. Yeah, uh, just you, you guys, the advertising from coaching side too. Um, oh, the Tiger Walk. Like uh, how, how impactful is that? Yeah, I, I'll tell you. I think that this this came from our administration. What a great idea! But um, our coaches want wore you know our own to victory uh, shirts for the Tiger Walk, which is. Maybe a little out of the norm, but in this day and time, we want people to know that, man, we, we are for our players and we're for the recruits that we get and we're for our own to victory team of doing everything we can to, to provide opportunities for, for our young men in our program. And so it's a way that uh, I think our staff can and c can promote the people that, uh, I don't know, can I say the one that was today or um, on the on – the, Probably not. So, uh, um, but you know, it's a way that we can promote on to victory our great collective and um, and those that uh, are serving that. And we we need help. We need help and uh, and others jumping in and so that we can keep you know attracting the top talent and and supporting them in every in every way we can. Thank you very much. Thank you guys so much.